What's up everybody, Zavrin here, and today we're jumping back into more of this war of mine. Yes, the evil edition. I uh, so we started off kind of mellow. Day seven, we're just trying to get everything settled. Get everything fixed up and suitable. Bruno's back from scavenging. And we're gonna go find other places to go. We're not gonna worry about like people getting hurt and all that stuff. Like our guys, yes. We need to make sure we take care of them. The biggest thing we need to do though is we're not going to go all out evil. We're just going to be a little bit heartless, right? Like, I'm not going to go just destroy people's lives. If we have to go to the old folks, people, or to the, to the old people's house, we're going to go do that, right? That's just something we're going to have to do. We're not going to worry about going to the airport and hacking people up with a machete because that's just what we've got. And we've got kind of a good group of people to do it, right? Because from what I remember, Bruno here, for instance, he is a caring guy, but if you have to hurt somebody to get us advanced, he doesn't care. His, his basically, if I'm remembering right, his mindset was always like, oh, it's either us or them, so screw them. Um, I think the only person, I think Arika might be the only person who has a sensitive soft spot. Yes, she's a cat burglar, but she's, I think she's got a soft spot, so she doesn't like to go out of her way to be mean but if we have to i guess i i don't know I, i'm not i don't remember i think i remember her and marco were kind of like similar in emotions right they were like let's do this we shouldn't have done that right like this was okay for us to do because it benefits us but we still shouldn't have done it because we were doing fine either way we're going maximum survival we're not gonna just survive and thrive at the end we want to thrive right from the start so i did take it slow ease everybody into the episode or the new evil season but yeah we're going heartless with this one so we're gonna figure out exactly where we're gonna go uh, uh, bruno you go to bed please yeah arca come here I don't think he brought back enough stuff for us to make a bed, no. We don't have anything. We got books in case we need them. Let's go here. I didn't check this yesterday. Fortunately, our shelter is a place where we can get some respite from the war. We only have one chair. We need. We have one bed, but we could use more. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on a hard, cold concrete. We've made a radio, and we like listening to it. We're glad to have some books. Reading helps us forget the horrors of the war. Staying here offers slight respite in these hard times. Cigarettes per day, nine. They want a nine cigarettes a day. I think they're all smokers. So that's going to be our thing. We got to start getting tobacco. So we're going to make that herb garden and get all that knocked out. All bridges in our walls have been boarded up. We should be able to repel minor attacks even if we're caught sleeping. Yeah. So we need more beds. We need to upgrade this, which we're going to need more components which is fine we'll go get those like i said there's not really a lot we could do right now yeah everybody's just hungry right hungry hungry slept poorly hungry yeah roman you know what you can come chill up here let's go listen to the radio see what's on the radio yep so i guess we're gonna go ahead and end the day here because there's not really anything else to do so i think sending him out to say the airport with i don't know say a machete or a, not a machete a hatchet uh, should be fine. So, not diluted gas station. The airport. Lots of food. Huge amount of materials. Some meds. Lots of parts. Danger. Prepare. Grab the hatchet. If I'm not mistaken, this is where... Uh, Zveta got shot on the last time. Right? This is where she got shot. I think it was either here. It might have been here. Or it was probably the warehouse. Either way. Marco... We're going to go do some stuff. Wait, this is the airport? Why does it look different this time? Huh. Looks different. I'm going to zoom out so we can keep an eye on all the area.
Huh. Ball. You scared the crap out of me. Okay, cool. Well, as long as you don't got a problem, I ain't got a problem. You hear about the people smugglers? No. These bastards take all I had. Oh no, I'm sorry, bud. Food, medicine, jewelry. They cheated me. Okay. I lost everything, even my family. Oh no, that sucks, bud. The hell with all this. Okay. I thought you were going to try to pull out a weapon or something, do something stupid. Let's see, what else is over here then? Can I get up these, this area? Well, that's not that bad. Okay, there's stuff back there. We need to bring a shovel with us. It says danger. I wonder if I wonder if you came in here and was just messing with people. If you would get like got right, there's a good chance that would happen. I don't see anybody over here. But I wonder if because we walked up slow and talked to the guy, if that kind of avoided all those problems. Yeah, we need the we need we need everything. So let's grab, I guess, these. And these. You guys could smoke later. Because there should be an airplane over here, right? Yeah. This is the side that gets dangerous. This is the dangerous side of the airport. This is where we had the problems with all the people in there. And then we had to come through here. But it ended right here. We couldn't leave. For some reason, it was weird. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see. I guess we'll try to dig out as much of this as we can until like say four o'clock and then we'll all balls out of here. But yeah, I'm going to two videos a day. I just wanted to do a channel update. It's either going to be, it's going to be one premiere like I've been doing. And then we're going to worry about everything else later on. So if I find a good indie game to, to, to showcase. Oops. Come on, Roman, you go to bed. Bruno, you come over here and start building stuff. Uh, we don't want that. I wonder if we, wait, we have enough to upgrade it. No, we still need four more. Marco, you're very hungry. Oh yeah, you just go to bed. Everybody's very hungry and slept poorly. Getting food now is a priority. We must preserve, yeah, I, 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 I know. We're gonna help the kids, we have to help the kids. Our mom is sick, could you please help us, yes. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they come back for more medicine later. Mark, come listen to the radio. Maybe we got something new. Poor children, let's hope our meds are enough to help their mother. See, she's got a soft spot, but he's probably like, we shouldn't have gave him more medicine. Yeah, see, meds are hard to come by. Oh, but we did the right thing. And then what does he got to say about it? Nothing. I thought it, I just saw his bio flashing. I guess I didn't. Rebel Smoking informed us that some districts might become inaccessible to civilians because the government forces are planning. Okay, great. So there's a lot of places we're not going to be able to go now because they're closing down the city. You listen to Radio Pogorin. We regret to announce that our colleague Yovan died this morning. He was shot by a sniper on his way to work. Upcoming day should still be nice and warm. We need to get a ton of components. The airport is still there, though. That's good. The supermarket it says danger, so I wonder... You know what? Let's go there. We'll take you again. You could sleep in a bed. You could sleep on the floor. But we do need to get food. That's going to be definitely an important thing to do, so... Let's go ahead and prepare. We're going to grab this. And we're going to go scavenge.
Done for. Boom. We got trade. Let's zoom out, make sure there's no other people in here. We got trade, yo. And canned food and water. Hopefully nobody else is here. I don't know what that guy was planning on doing, but I know it wasn't good. What are we going to drop? Let's drop. Here. We can start shuffling everything over to this pile too. Which isn't a bad idea. Come on. What are you doing? Let's see. I guess let's drop the tobacco. Cigarettes will make us a lot of money too. It's only 11 o'clock. I don't want to waste too much time if we end up getting caught up. But I think we're pretty good now. I think that's really the only threat here. We'll just do this. Let's come over here. We're just going to grab everything we can and move it to that spot. And then that way we can sit there and debate on what to take with us, right? Okay. So we got food. Let's drop off the coffee. Let's grab the food. Let's grab uh, the carrot. Drop off the bait. Let's grab the carrot. Let's drop off the bullet casing. We'll grab that. Let's drop off. Well, how many gears can we stack up? Just four? That's fine. Let's drop, let's drop off the wood just for right now because this could be used for trade and all sorts of stuff. So the ammo we're keeping for sure. Water, we're going to take all the water and then I think that's all we need, right? Yeah, because now we have enough for three. Yeah, everybody's going to eat. Everybody's going to eat. Let's go. We were probably robbed because that was a damn good haul we got, dude. <laughs> we were, but we were probably robbed. Let's be honest. Yeah, we were raided. We used three ammo though. That's not bad because we came back with twenty of them. You go to bed. You go to bed. You cook. Double meals. That's fine. What's her bio say? I told you about my old man. I hated that asshole. But the war does things to people. That night, when the bombs fell on Gravia, something changed. What he did, I'll never forget. You heard what they did to Gravia, right? No. No, not at all. Wish I did. We will hopefully be able to make two food out of that. And then we can't get robbed, but... Let's see, he's got carrot and he's got this. All right, so Bruno, you want to scavenge? Hey, you can sleep in bed. You can sleep in bed. Sure, Bruno. Let's grab a shovel. Let's go. That's it. Yeah, let's go scavenge. We should be going to the supermarket, I hope. And hopefully. Oh, there's that lady again. You heard about that soldier and what he tried to do? Good thing that girl is safe now. Yeah, really. She lives next door. Helps me with the groceries sometimes. Oh, that's messed up. Well, at least she's safe, right? Why are you just following me? Creepy. You're a creepy lady. I don't want to think what he would have done or what would have happened if that soldier hadn't been stopped. Yeah, I know. That's really good that Roman did that. And we're supposed to be doing an evil run, right? <laughs> She's exhausted and shocked, but her family is taking good care of her. Okay, so we need a lockpick for that. Let's go ahead and dump all this stuff off. Except for the shovel. Gunfire doesn't sound good, though. Well, we got to come back down here, don't we? 
Well, we got that dug out, so maybe there's something else we could dig down. I don't want any trouble. No. Neither do I, so just kind of keep your distance. If she messes us with us, we're going to use the shovel as a freaking weapon. You better believe it. <laughs> so let's go. I don't know where else to go now. I think we can get up here now, though. We'll just grab everything we can and go up this ladder and hopefully not get hit by a sniper. Interesting. Oh, this could come in handy. Yeah. I think I've cleared all that out, lady. But we got plenty of time. And could we come up back up here? Come up here. Hopefully there's no sniper up there. Yeah, we're going to leave this place freaking empty as it gets, dude. Come on, this is like a bad spot. I've never seen a sniper over here, but you never, never know. We need lock picks. That's something we're gonna have to work on as soon as we get back to the to the base. We should have enough time to do this. We'll let Bruno have his chance to go run, run amok. Man, we got so much stuff in here. So let's come back over here, I guess. We'll finish this place off. I don't remember if there's anything down here. I don't think... I don't remember if we got everything out of there. We're going to find out, though. And we got these two piles and this pile... And then we just got to come back with some lockpicks and get the good stuff that's down there in the bottom. So that's our next goal. Have the rest of this stuff. Take this, this, these, drop off the wood, we'll keep the water, drop off the sugar, we have plenty of that, drop off that. We could actually drop off that, take the regular tobacco. I guess we'll grab our shovel, uh, it's kind of worthless, but we'll take it, and we'll just grab as many components as we can. Drop off the one water, let's drop off the two crap cigarettes and grab some more of these. And then, shit, look at all that stuff, dude. Look at all that stuff we got. Let's drop off this, and this, and this. We should be fine without it for the time being. Because now, we can grab the components. We need the components more than anything. So we'll grab these, and I think maybe a, a couple of stacks of these. That might be good, right? Hopefully she doesn't take everything out of there. Just some trash. Okay, she, she's done. So let's go ahead and go. Earth. So I'm just going to do some tidying up around the house. If anything interesting happens, I'll be back with you guys. And, yeah. We'll be going hitting nightfall. So, Bruno, go to bed. Alright, so we just skipped ahead to nightfall. We'll send... Yeah, that looks good. Oh, the supermarket's off limits now. Oh my god, dude. Okay, okay, okay. So, the semi-detached house has danger. There are people living in the other half. They don't seem friendly. At night, you can sometimes hear shots fired from there. If I'm not mistaken, this is the house. Let's food, let's med, let's parts. You know what? I guess this is what we have to do. Let's go. We're not taking... I don't think we need to take anything with us. We might, though. Ah, this is a bad one. But that's the run. That's the run. Because we do need food. And we need parts. And there's a lot of stuff right here in the front, so that's good. We need that. 
need the wood, so we might just take the wood. Only trash here. So silly. Where we sold everything. Okay. Well, if we have to, we're gonna do it. Sorry, bud. Heard it's dangerous. We try not to go out. Yep. Are you gonna kill us? No, I'm not gonna kill you guys. Not unless you guys do something stupid. Please don't hurt my wife. I beg you. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it. Um, there's nothing in here worth taking. We need food. I'm not gonna hurt your wife, bud. We just need the food from your fridge. Grab all. That's a pretty good amount of stuff. Yeah. How can you do this? Wow. I mean, we need to survive too, bud. You'll be fine. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Well. Of course, if I had tools. Dang. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to kill you guys. Just let me take your stuff peacefully and we'll be good. Let's go ahead. We don't need all the sugar. But we do need wood. We need wood. Maybe we'll drop the one food. That's kind of stupid to do. Let's drop the herb. Take that. And we're not going to do anything else. I will chop up that one piece. Have mercy. Don't take that. I didn't take anything. I didn't take anything. Mind your own business, old man. Are you with the bandits? I heard they rob people blind. No. We're not the bandits. We're not going to... I'm not going to kill you if we don't have to. What a strange visitor. Yep. We're just going to take wood and stuff. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. But yeah, we're going to drop that. We need to take this wood. Let's drop the sugar, I guess. And we'll take the more wood. Come on. All of it. That's another stack of wood. And we'll drop... I guess the gears for right now, and then the other stack of wood. That'll give us a little bit more wood. We should be able to upgrade everything at that point. I figure if we go one week at a time, we should be good. You know, seven days at a time. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, we were raided. Two bullets. That's not bad. You go to bed. One. Roman's the best person to go. And we're going to take the hatchet with us. I don't want to take lock picks, but I'm going to grab a couple because I think we need them. If this is the right place, we'll see. I might be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, these are the guys. Yeah, this is the right place. Cool. Yeah, we'll just leave. No. Exit here because that's going to be our exit. So we got to go watch the conversation and then go in there and fucking slaughter some people. We just gotta be careful because they'll get us. They got guns. They're dangerous. So, we just gotta come down here and watch their little conversation and then break out. Alright, we got our good stuff out. And they don't ever leave. So, if you've never played this, and you're planning on it, these guys never leave. They are always at this house until you get rid of them. Wouldn't mind hitting humanitarian transport aid again. Yo, 
know, we'll fix them good and proper. I think there's like three people in the house and then like a couple of guys all the way over here. Like there's people over here and then there's these two guys that talk. In here, grab out our hatchet and wait. Yeah, we know you can't scavenge with a weapon in your hands, but there's a guy that guy that comes in here, he usually comes down this way and then comes back around this way. And then this guy upstairs kind of just paces around up here. So we're just waiting for some noise to occur or something to happen. So you, it's, it's all about patience with this, absolutely 100% all about patience. I've gotten greedy and got shot. Guy came in the door down here, shot me through the stairs into this doorway that was right here. If I'm not mistaken, I might, yeah, it was right here. Came in here, shot me through here, behind the fridge, into the doorway. I don't know how it happened, but that's how Pavel died. So, we gotta kind of run, maybe make some noise. Here he comes. And then we wait for him to get right at us. Because if we do it anytime sooner than that, we're done. Take his stuff. Damn good trade, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some stuff. Let's go ahead and start scavenging. I don't think anybody else is in this room here. I think they're on the outside. So we need the we need the wood. We'll take the components, whatever we can. We're loaded up on weapons. We need a saw, so that's a good reminder there. We need to get a saw. I think we're good here. There might be a third person here, but I'm not 100%. Let's see what we got. Yep. So this is all gonna have to wait. We're gonna grab those carrots. We'll drop, let's see, one of the wood. We'll grab that and that. Let's drop the other wood, we'll grab all that meat. What else is in here? Just a booze, I'm not really worried about that. What else we got over here though? the other food we don't need the bait it would be good to get it but i think that's pretty much it let's see what's up here and then i think we'll go ahead and head out because it's already 3 30. we're gonna have to be very careful though because there's usually a third guy in here if i'm not mistaken so it's gonna run to the exit and see where he goes good nope come on clear this out get down here clear this out that way we could just bust in next time so we just need to bring a saw and a couple lockpicks with us and we should be golden go dude yes Ooh, that was a good run man we got some good stuff we got armor we've got 
I mean, come on. We're, we're barely set, dude. Let's go. I had a good night. Yeah, you did, homeboy. Let's go to bed, Roman. And we didn't get robbed? Go to bed, dude. You're golden. Everybody's just hungry now. Uh, oh, Franco showed up. We're going to make a trade. As long as he sticks around long enough, we're just waiting for this to finish. Once this booze is finished, that'll give us a little bit of trade. We have stuff that we could trade with him for the time being. Roman, come up here and eat. Um, we have stuff that we could trade with him for the time being, if you look here. Because we've got two assault rifles, right? <laughs> that gives enough for everybody to have a weapon. We could take, like, all of his components. And then... Well, not those. We don't need those. Well, we kind of need those, don't we? But we need the wood more than anything for right now. But if we got rid of that, it's very generous of you. So, what if we took... I guess, yeah, let's grab these. Won't do try harder. Fine, we could have a deal. That's kind of a shit deal, though, isn't it? But we need it. Feel. That's fine. Let's see what else we've got here. We're waiting for the booze. Once the booze is finished, hopefully he sticks around. I don't know how much time is left on that. Okay. So, bottle of booze. Doo -doo. What do you want for this? I want all the wood you've got, sir. Won't do try harder. That's fine. We'll figure something out. Mm. Very generous with one can of food. That's, I mean, that's a little overkill. But we could take, I guess, the rest of these. Right? Gun part? No. Okay. One gun part. What about water? Three waters is too much. What if I got rid of one of those and grab some more water from you? And then... Won't do try harder. What do you have that I could take from you? That you'll be willing to give up? Ah, eh, you know what? For one bottle of booze and a can of food, that's, that's fine. Because that fills us up. We took basically everything he's got. So, go ahead and kick rocks. And then... Could we come down here? Before the end of the day and get this made. And we are going to go back to the warehouse. We'll take... Bruno? Sure. I mean, you all have ten bag slots. What surprised me is my last playthrough... We... Let's make sure ain't nobody here. Should be good. At least for the time being, pretty good. I don't see anybody. That's cool, though. Just keeping an eye out. Two broken guitars. That's actually pretty good. It's not necessary. But it's pretty good. What's in here? I don't think we searched in here last time. Let's finish up this kitchen. And we can get plenty of wood by chopping this shit up too. So, yeah, we'll just grab whatever we can. Let's drop one of these broken guitars. We'll grab another stack of wood. Let's drop these shell casings and we'll grab the booze. Wooden component seems to be our biggest downfall right now. Let's drop this and we'll grab that. Let's drop the sugar and we'll grab that. Uh, we'll grab those gears. You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> oh, well, we'll save that there. We know it's here, so. It's locked. What about over here? Right. Have the extra gear. This would actually be pretty good. Let's go ahead and get rid of the gunpowder for right now. Oh. Uh, let's grab that. I don't remember which one I clicked, so... I 
I don't know how to get it. I know we can get down here, but this is where it gets tricky. I think Bruno would like to do some damage to somebody, though. So what's down here in the basement? Come on. We need another saw for that. And then you'll see a guy. Usually he kind of comes into here. And then he'll chase you down. But you, there's places to hide over there too. So that's always something to think about as well. Oh no. Decisions, decisions. I'll take the wood because we need the wood. We'll take one more extra component. I'm half tempted to drop this and just grab these. Because it's not like we're hurting for medicine. It's one o'clock. We gotta be super careful now. See, there he is. I don't know where he's gonna go, but he's a dangerous boy. What the hell are you doing, dude? Where's that bastard? Getting late. Come on. This is the last guy. He's the last piece of the puzzle. Ready? Three, two, one. Done, homeboy. Now we're going to scavenge his corpse. And see if we can get something good. Because there's an exit right over here. And we got all this stuff now. Now we got free reign. We can come over here. All we need is a saw blade. Another gun. <laughs> That's better trade than that. And we'll just take all the ammo too. Thank you. Let's see if there's anything else we can grab over here. That should be all three of them. Ooh, three cans of food. Let's go ahead and drop. Ah, yeah. Drop the to Ah, they want the tobacco. Ah, dang it. I'm trying to deal with smokers is a pain in the butt. Let's see. What else did he have on him? He had to have had something. He said weapons were there. Lion. Lion fool. Oh, yeah. I put a booze back on him. We'll go get that next time we come back. Because we are coming back here. We're going to empty this damn place out now. Now that we can. There's so much here. Oh my god, look at that stockpile, bro. Holy, uh, got it. Well, we're good on ammo for a while. We're going to be good on components and weapon parts, too, as long as they don't close down this part of the city. We got to go back to the grocery store and get the rest of our crap there, too. And there's stuff, like, up in here, if I'm not mistaken. There was stuff in the rafters, too. So, usually when it takes forever like that, something bad happened. Now we're good. What do we need for that door? A bunch. Okay. What does he say? Bruno killed a bandit. Good riddance. One scum less to, uh, to take advantage of helpless people. Yeah. Yep. Being a... I guess vigilante. So it's not going to be an evil run, I guess. It's a vigilante run. <laughs> Bruno could have gotten killed by that thug. I'm glad he managed to come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's Bruno got to say? I have a dearest friend who's always worried a lot. One day she called me terrified, saying that there is a riot outside. The secessionists were inciting a crowd to burn a tall ta or the town hall. The tall hound. The town hall. <laughs> I found her not to... I told, I told her not to worry. And I was right. Nothing came out of it. This time. But even when the riots and fights became everyday news, I kept assuring her that it would all blow over soon. I'm sorry, Bruno. Let's, uh, let's go to bed. At 31. Oh, no, the kids. The kids, the kids, 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 kids. Come on, Erica. Let's go talk to the kids. Help, please help. Mom's sick again. Yeah, it happens, bud. Come on out. 
Hello, we're hungry. Oh, you know what? We do have food. Yeah. Take two foods. You're welcome. Have a good day. What, what does Roman got to say? A hungry child is a heartbreaking sight. I'm glad we're getting food. Yeah, we might be doing an asshole thing by going out and like robbing the old people. But I haven't got much terms of supply. But we did the right thing. Yeah, we did. And then Bruno's going to be pissed. No, oh, no, he's not. Wow. Usually he's like, oh, well, we shouldn't have to. We shouldn't give him food. But yeah, he's right. No child should ever go hungry. You know, they're innocent in this. They have no control over any of this. So just trying to survive and be hungry, at least the least we could do is help them out. You know, it, it, it makes our people feel better and it makes everybody else feel better too. No, Bruno, go back to bed. Bruno, I'm sorry. I'm at Arca. Yeah, I guess we'll send Bruno back out. That's fine. I'm not sure what's going on with uh, Roman and uh, Arca, but I do know that they tend to like to stay home together quite often. Oh, we needed a saw. Damn it. Okay. Sure. It's in here. I just swore we need a lockpick for something. Oh, there's something here. Another can of food. Perfect. Talk about a lucky run. Drop uh, that one piece of wood. We'll grab that. Because we come over this way, we're going to drop everything off here. We're going to empty it out, do like we did at the grocery store. You know, there's a big guy. I don't remember what his name was, but there's a big guy in here. That, um, he's got like a 16 storage slot or something like that. So he's good to take with you. If you have, if you ever get him, it's really, really good to have. Like, really good to have. I'm just trying to clear out this part of the house. And then I'm going to go clear out the other side. Might as well get everything we can while we can, right? Oh, that's water. We needed that. Oh, what's in here? We've got everything here. What does this say? I know we've read it before, but let's go. Someone wrote on the wall. We have to. We have to go find Lena. We'll be at the market every day at noon. S and D. Okay. So Lena must be the girl that we rescued. Oh, there's something right here. Something hidden. Maybe it's good. Uh, not really. God dang it. We have to come down here. Wait, no, stuff right here. Grab this. Found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. We were raided. Bruno has been searching. Okay. That might be different because it changes every time. He's tired. We can go put him in bed. I think we have enough stuff, honestly. We have enough... Oh, we're too short for the heater. Okay. We'll have that next time. But we've gone our seven days. So this is where we're going to go ahead and end it. Because if I end it any time after this, unless we go through the night again, it will revert back to day 14. Because uh, coming home after the night phase is where it saves at. So this is where we'll end it here. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day.